Windows chooses the best display setting, including screen resolution, refresh rate and colour based on the monitor. These settings differ depending upon whether it is an LCD or CRT monitor. LCD monitors are also called flat panel displays and have largely replaced CRT monitors. They are far lighter and thinner than bulky CRT monitors, which contain heavy glass tubes. LCD monitors also come in a wide range of shapes and sizes, which include widescreens and standard width screens, with ratios of 16 to 9 or 16 to 10, width to height for widescreen models and 4 to 3 for standard width models. Laptops also use flat panel displays. For both LCD and CRT monitors, it's typical that the higher the dots per inch or DPI you set the display on your screen, the better the fonts will look. When you increase the DPI, you are increasing the screen resolution. The resolution you use depends on the resolution your monitor supports. Before continuing, we should be clear exactly what resolution is. The resolution is defined by the number of pixels that appear on the display screen. Essentially, the screen is made up from a series of pixels or dots. How these are arranged differs between a CRT and LCD monitor. Let's assume that an LCD monitor has 800 dots across the screen and 600 rows of these down the screen, or more commonly, 800 by 600. This would make it a very low resolution LCD monitor compared with present standards. Now let's magnify a portion of the screen. We can see here that in this specific area of the screen there is a grid of 8 by 8 dots or pixels. If we take a higher resolution LCD monitor, but this time 1600 by 1200 or twice the resolution, then take the same area of the screen, this time as expected it has twice as many pixels in the same area. So what is the advantage? If we take a simple square in both examples, the square on the higher resolution monitor looks more even. Not only that, if we animate the squares, then we should find that the one on the higher resolution moves much smoother. At a higher resolution, such as 1900 by 1200 pixels, items appear sharper. They also appear smaller, so more items fit on the screen. We can see a clear example of this if we first open two windows. Now we open the screen resolution by right clicking on the desktop. Here we can see in our example three settings. Display that refers to the monitor. Resolution that refers to the number of pixels which is currently set at 1280 by 1024. And orientation which is set to landscape. We shall return to this a little later. Here we shall set the resolution to the minimum of 800 by 600. Notice this message that has appeared. If your resolution is below 1224 by 768, some items may not fit on the screen. We shall ignore this and continue. When we click on OK, we shall be prompted with the message, Do you want to keep this display settings? Also notice that there is a countdown here. When the countdown reaches zero, the new setting is cancelled. The reason for this is the user could choose a resolution that the monitor would be incapable of displaying, resulting in loss of display. So without this option it would make it difficult to reset the resolution. We shall choose this resolution again, but this time we shall click on Keep Changes. Notice how much bigger the two windows have become, just like the icons and the font settings. Let's return to the resolution setting to see the options. Notice here we can see that most of the settings have been greyed out. Only one in this example have been highlighted and this is labelled as recommended. This is called the native resolution, the setting that should give us the best results and suits the aspect ratio of this monitor. If we think about it, we're not actually changing the resolution since the pixels are fixed. All we are doing is selecting different number of pixels we are using. In this next example we have chosen a resolution that is completely wrong, 
1280 by 800 since this is not within the aspect ratio of this monitor. First notice the black band that has now appeared in the top and bottom of the screen. This clearly can be seen that this resolution is not suitable for this monitor. Also notice that some of the text is not clear as it was before. We shall change the display back to the original settings. Another setting we should be aware of is the orientation. Currently set to landscape, but we can change this to portrait. This can be useful should we decide to mount the monitor on its side. This is most popular when viewing very long documents or sometimes used in advertising purposes. One example of this type of monitor is shown here. It can be used in landscape or portrait mode by swinging the screen into different positions. Also here we can, if we had an additional display adapter, have more than one monitor fitted. If we click on detect, a number would appear that relates to this monitor. This means we can spread the desktop over these monitors, which can be useful for development work or for manipulating files and pictures or videos. If we right click on the desktop, then click on personalize, we can see several other options. For example, we can change the desktop items and customize them. We can select different mouse properties. Change the account pictures. And also the desktop picture. There are many other color settings that can be changed and these can be found in the help screens. One final setting that can be useful is the screen saver which is currently set to none. We click on the selector to the right of the screensaver, we can see other options. If we select 3D text for instance, we can see a preview of this. We move the mouse or press a key, it will be cancelled. As with almost all the screensavers, we can adjust different settings. For instance, we can change the text, a different font setting, and other various settings that relate to resolution, size and rotation speed. Once these settings are done we can once again review the result. We can see that after one minute of no interaction with the computer the screensaver will become active. This time can be increased or decreased. Here we find an option on resume display log on screen. This means in this example that after one minute the screen server will become active. Then if the keyboard's touched or the mouse is moved after this time, then the log on screen will be displayed. In most cases the user will then have to enter a password. This can be useful if you should be called away from the computer for any period. The screen server will kick in securing the computer.